Hello, Pep Society RC. This is your moderator, Hiroja Shai, the chat. I'm here to discuss my personal theories for the season finale. So we got a lot going on. So the table has been set. You have Elliot on one side with Darlene and himself and maybe Tyra Wellick going against White Rose, Grant, and the entirety of the Dark Army plus the FBI because it's corrupted to somehow take down Dark Army and maybe possibly E Corp at the same time. Not really sure if that's still even on the agenda. Um, Darlene's in FBI custody. Philip Price is on his way out. Angela is uh, possibly in some kind of mental facility because she's, you know, she's cracked basically. She needs some mental, she, you know, she needs some help. Um, Elliot's on his own. Yeah, he still has Mr. Robot, but he's on his own. Uh, Trenton and Moby are considered the heads of F Society and are terrorists that tried to take down America on behalf of Iran. Uh, we saw in the background of last episode that there's cyber attacks that occur in Iran. We're here in the, the drum marches of war, martial law has occurred, uh, which is causing a delay for the uh, Washington Township plant device from moving out of that facility to the Congo. There's a month delay, if you will, which is up, you know, affects White Rose. She, she has this thing about timetables. She wants her device. And so there, there's a lot going on. So here's one I want to cover. Um, I think Angela is going to find out that Philip Price is her father. I think that's going to be revealed very early on. And it's not going to go very well. I think it's going to... Angela's not going to accept it. I think she's going to consider it a deception, a deceptive move. She wants to be with White Rose. She wants her mother back. Phil Price, I think, uh, might institutionalize her for some reason, or you know, needs to institutionalize her. Uh, might be a little bit devastated by these, by what has happened to Angela, and can't reach her. I think Phil Price is going to die this episode. I will explain why in a moment. But I think when he dies, Angela's finally going to get all the things that she wanted, which was security. Um, debt free, you know, wealth, a little bit of promise, a little bit of, you know, now that she has a taste of like that high kind of E Corp life, that privileged life, she's going to now have all of that. But it's just going to further cause her to go into spin out of control, if you will. Um, I'm not sure that's going to make her go to the FBI and reveal her culpability, but we'll see if that happens. I think she will. I just don't know. Uh, if Santiago is still going to be in the FBI to receive that information. Philip Price, I think, is going to die, and I think he's going to die with Darlene. Uh, there's been a theory that's been going on. Um, I'm going to link in the show notes for the original Reddit post. I don't quite remember the user's name at the top of my head right now, but was, I think around season two, uh, there was a lot of images of Darlene in planes, and been consistently with Darlene in planes throughout, I guess you could say even the series, really. So there's been a theory that Darlene's going to die in a plane crash. And Dom along with her because even Dom has some plane crash stuff around her with a Patsy Cline photo and things of that nature. And Patsy Cline, a famous country western artist, died in a plane crash. Um, I'm not, I don't think Dom's going to die this season. I think maybe Dom will eventually die, maybe. I think a lot of people are going to die this in this series. Uh, but I don't think Dom is dying this season. What I think is going to happen is I think Darlene with some help from Dom, is going to gain access to Sentinel and get that encryption code. And how she's going to get that is I think Dom's going to go to Philip Price over at E Corp, and she's going to let him know that they have the encryption keys at the FBI custody, but the FBI won't release that for whatever reason. She's going to just drop it on his lap. Philip Price is going to take that as his last ability to have a move against um, White Rose to say to remain control and CEO of E Corp or at least have some kind of prominent position. He and Darlene are going to go on a plane and they're going to go to that big um, uh, warehouse of servers from the very first season when Elliot and Gideon went to try to stop F Society and go to one of the original uh, servers and try to encrypt it and that is how the plane crash is going to happen. I think that by some default. I don't think when Elliot is hacking the Dark Army, I don't think he's really hacking the Dark Army. I think he might actually accidentally enact the malware program 
that the Dark Army had established for the purpose of uh, setting up Trent and Moby. Either he, he accidentally sets it off, or the Dark Army is going to set it off to kill his sister, Philip Price, and blame it on Elliot um, as a cover, if you will. So I think, yeah, I think Darlene is going to die this season. Um, I think Santiago, I think Santiago's days are numbered. I think he's going to be taken out by Dark Army, maybe put in a position as a hero trying to stop F Society in some way to kind of cover up the fact of the encrypted keys that are in the FBI house. I don't think Dom's going to take him out. I think Dom wants to take him out, but she's too much of a good cop. She wants evidence. She wants proof. She might enact on her hunch, but she, she wants something solid that, to, she knows if she goes against Santiago and fails, that's it for her, really. Fundamentally, is f completely done. Um, I think Dom's still going to be an agent at the end of this, but a tarnished agent. And that might position her towards Elliot, but I don't think they're going to be completely in cahoots with one another. Um, it really depends on, you know, if Darlene does die. I think if Darlene dies, then maybe she will start working with Elliot in some fashion to take out the Dark Army, take out White Rose, who, who is culpable and responsible for, you know, in her opinion, the killing of her partner and her fellow agents, uh, the 71 buildings, the hack, 5-9 hack, uh, the economic collapse, and the march of war between America and Iran. Um, what else? Uh... Pyro Wellick, I think, is a very much a wild card because he's so unstable. I think that upon the death of Philip Price, he's going to be positioned as to being the CEO of Evil Corp. But he's once again, he's still going to be the figurehead and a puppet of the Dark Army. He's not going to like that. He's going to maybe either go with Elliot or find and make his own type of agenda. Um, he might like the position or the privilege that being the head of Evil Corp is, but once he realizes that he's not in fact really in charge, but White Rose is, he's going to rebel against that in some fashion. Uh, particularly the fact if he doesn't have his son. If he gets his son, maybe he'll go along with the Dark Army, but I don't think so. I just, I think he will, in the end, will find him being the head of, uh, at the end of this, this season finale, the head of Evil Corp. Uh, what's another thing? Oh, the Washington Township plant. Back, I've been saying it, back on it, it is a MacGuffin. A MacGuffin is um, stuff, eleven, stuff that the dreams are made of. Um, uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, he uh, popularized this term. He didn't create it, he popularized this term. It is a plot device, an object, if you will, that is used to, to propel the story forward and the motivations, but it's not really what the story is about. It just moves these along. Uh, the biggest uh, MacGuffin there is is you know, the Maltese Falcon itself or the briefcase in Pulp Fiction. I think the Washington Township plant is a MacGuffin in this show. Um, it's the stuff that you know dreams are made of, all the motivations of all the reasons why the players are on the board, you know, Angela and Ellie's parents dying, uh, White Rose gaining, gaining and garnering prominence, taking control in some fashion of who's gonna be the CEO of Evil Corp, why Philip Price is the CEO, is because of the Washington Township plant. The plant itself and its existence has been the motivation for all this. The plan to take out, uh, you know, not only Philip Price, but the economy in some fashion, this design, if you will, um, is the result of making sure the Washington Township plant is not only safe and out of the country, but a byproduct of a design, if you will, to, to cripple the American economy in some fashion. I think eCoin is going to play a greater prominence in the coming series. I think it's going to survive. I don't think Elliot in any fashion is going to be able to stop it. I do think that maybe he might, by and he doesn't realize it, might have had a hand in its creation. We still don't know what the when um, season two revealed like the manifestation, or at least what we thought was an initial manifestation of Mr. Robot when he was explaining to Darlene when she came over that one Halloween night of what they could do to take down Evil Corp. That, you know, the reason why he got arrested and had his probation was because he wrecked these servers. And he was penetrating their systems and people got pissed and they locked him into the server room and uh, he freaked out and, and destroyed the servers. I think he might have been working on the eCoin project and he doesn't even realize that, that that's what he was doing because he erased his mind, if you will. And maybe there might be a back door of some fashion. I think that might play, I'm not positive it's going to play in the season finale, but the rest of the series. Uh, 
are any old characters going to come back and haunt Elliot? I don't think so. I think Irvin's going to make appearance. I think Leon's going to make appearance during the season finale. I think Irvin, if Santiago dies, is going to be the one responsible for taking Santiago out. Um, or Leon, maybe a combination thereof. Um, Elliot is very much alone. I don't know where he's going to go to. I don't think he can go to Krista. I don't think he can go to anybody, especially once Darlene's dead. There is nobody. Um, Bill Price stated himself when he talked to those two morons at the, ta at the table, you know, uh, leaders inspire the agenda, which in a way, in a fashion, Philip Price did inspire the state street uh, idea or plan. I think with the, if Darlene dies, with the death of Darlene and the continued prominence of Evil Corp and Dark Army basically winning, I think they're going to end up winning at the end in some fashion, even though there might be losses on both sides. Uh, I think maybe Grant might be one of those losses uh, that uh, he's going to somehow figure out a way to be the leader that he's been wanting to be to, you know, kind of go fit in his juvenile concept of being the hero. He's going to inspire the agenda and he's going to go after both Dark Army and Evil Corp and take it, take it all down, if you will. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes goes forward. Uh, the other thing is maybe, and this is a thing that's been plaguing me since season one, or since the season two when it's been revealed that White Rose uh, was responsible for the Washington Township plant, how Elliot or slash Mr. Robot is unaware of that fact, how he's unaware of the Washington Township plant. Angela knows. Angela knows that White Rose is attached to the Washington Township plant. Maybe she reveals that to Elliot. I'm not sure. But it's very interesting that he's gone with the Dark Army or somehow stumbled into this revolution, as Philip Price has stated, that he's unaware of this fact. Um, they need to kind of answer that to some fashion. Because if he is, then maybe he might have a hand of manipulating um, the Washington Township plant movements. Maybe not all the parts go to the Congo. If there's a time jump and we see the Washington Township plant in the Congo, the device, and is missing a piece or several pieces and Elliot is responsible for that I think that might be a factor it might be a plan it might be a plan B if you will the last bit and I hope is a question they answer it is the answer about Romero why was Romero keylogging F Society was he an informant and who was he informing to because there's a bit of misinformation the FBI knew a tremendous amount of information um, and the Dark Army seemed to not to have been aware about the key logging. So there must be another parallel investigation or another agency investigating this that Dom and Santiago are unaware of. And maybe that might be revealed. Maybe Dom might get still be with the FBI, but get pulled into the other, other investigation. And they, they're going to reveal and say, we know about the Dark Army. We know about the encryption keys. We know all this. And we're here to take it all down, but we need to do it you know, the right way, the FBI way or the NSA way or whatever way it is. Um, I think that might be a factor to keep the Dom on the show and still uh, be, you know, the good cop that she is and not really working with Elliot, but still taking down, you know, uh, Dark Army and um, taking down all the players and eventually, you know, even Elliot, because Elliot is responsible for bringing about all this in, in many ways into existence uh, that's pretty much all my thoughts I'm really looking forward to the season finale you know all this can just go to crap burn down you know the Washington Township plant might not be a MacGuffin and we might find out what is really about like a I don't know a, a cobalt generating device a, a free energy device it might be something fantastical but not a time machine and there's no robots or anything like that um, I do think that maybe, maybe at the end of this season, maybe there might be an initial flashback. We find out what really happened to Elliot. Did he push himself out of the window or did his father push him out? We might actually see that moment. They might gift us with that moment before crushing our hearts and making us cry and dis destroying us a little bit emotionally with the, the season finale. Um... That's pretty much it. Those are pretty much all my thoughts about the season finale. Um, Darlene's going to die. Um, the Reddit post, I think, has been correct that she's going to die in a plane crash, but I think she's going to die with Philip Price on the way to those servers um, down the eastern seaboard um, 
that's how it's going to happen. I don't think Elliot is going to successfully um, hack into the Dark Army. I think he's going to get caught. I think somehow Grant will die. Just not sure how he will die. I don't think uh, White Rose is going to successfully get her plant out, or at least the entirety of her plant out of the Congo. I think Tyra Wellick will, in fact, be the head of Evil Corp. Uh, Santiago is going to die. I think Irvin's going to do it. And I don't think Irvin's going to die this season, but I do think Tyra Wellick will kill Irvin because I think he had, believes he had a hand, or at least could have told him about his wife because they had that con you know connection if you will even though it was a false connection I think Tyra will, will deal with Irvin eventually don't think Le Leon's still going to be with us I hope Trent and Moby by the end of all of this by the end of the series their names get cleared um, oh and the little CD things that Ellie's been, been making that got pushed away I think they're going to play some prominence or you know, either his place is going to get raided either by the Dark Army or by the FBI. Um, maybe they don't get, maybe it gets taken or and maybe no one sees it. His apartment gets taken by somebody new and they see these CDs and go, oh great, I'll listen to these and don't realize the importance of those CDs. I think it might be just for something funny. It might happen in the series or it might happen during the season finale. I don't know, but I just thought it was very odd that they focus so hard on the, the, the CD case. Uh, they don't, usually when they focus on something, it means something, whether it be now or later down the road. Um, I just, you know, I think I covered it. I recapped everything. Um, I'm still doing a live reaction at the end of uh, the episode for the season finale. Um, I'm giving away $20 in Bitcoin, so you have to be part of the F Society RC book, uh, RC group on Facebook. Uh, all the links in the description below have already given away some of the prizes. Um, there might be like a meetup of p reviewers, podcast reviewers of uh, Mr. Robot. Um, maybe sometime right after the season finale. It's still being worked out and stuff like that. We'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for listening and supporting and sharing and liking. Um, you know... And the few, the couple of comments I have gotten, I appreciate that, both in the Facebook and the YouTube channel, as well as through the podcast. Um, it's been a, a great, great, another great season of Mr. Robot. Look forward to four and five. I can't, can't wait for next year. You know, I can't wait. Uh, such great television. And I hope they get their Golden Globe nominations. They're supposed to come out on Monday. I might, I'm going to be tweeting about that early in the morning. I hope they get some nominations. They rightfully did so. And some Emmy nominations this time, especially for cinematography, for writing, for B.B. Wong, again, uh, Rami Malek, maybe Christian Slater this time, uh, some of the ladies here um, have all stepped up their game and really, really have had an impact on the show this series, so we'll see what happens, but yeah, um, another great, yeah, another great run, can't wait, can't wait yet, so fearful of what's going to happen for our characters for uh, the season finale, so that's it. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, this is Rosa Scheib and um, Team Elliot as always, even though he's really not a hero. Um, yeah, and I'm logging out for now. Until the season finale, you guys.